day early. Hi. I'm Jane. I'm here to film the documentary. Am I at the right place? I don't think so. You know, not a lot goes on around here. We don't have anything to do with the outside world. But I'm not part of the group, I just work here. What kind of work? Things need to be done, building maintenance, whatever. I also get the supplies, so if you need anything, come and see me. I wasn't really prepared for this place. It's pretty remote out here. Yeah, we get that a lot. I can't believe how cold it is already. Sounds like you don't want to be here. No, 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 I want to do this. Filming the documentary should be a great experience. I don't think you're who she's looking for. I beg your pardon? Do you want me to carry that for you? The name's Bill. Do you know what goes on in here? I plead total ignorance. here. I wasn't sure if you got my reminder. My dear, you look different. Has it really been that long? I'm sorry, I don't think we've met before. Oh, don't be silly, dear. Come on, I'll show you to your room. I wanted to thank you for the invitation. Well, thank you for accepting. I hope through your film the world will see what we're trying to achieve. And I hope you understand how important it is that we get our message out there. What's that message? Well, not now, dear. You can interview me tomorrow. I'll have my final words then. But until then, I want you to film as much as possible. OK. I'll try my best. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Gretel. Did you sleep well, dear? Oh, yes, I did. Thank you, Mother. Welcome, young lady. Mother's told us all about you. Um, yes, you're right. She's quite a beauty. I'll let the others know our guest has arrived. Come on. This is your room. The bathroom's through there. It's not much, but it should do for the night. It's fine, really. It looks comfy. Sorry, I was just mm. curious. Did that lady call you mother? Yes, dear. That's what I'm to be referred to. This is my home and this is their home. So please have respect for my um, position as a leader of Harmony Temple. Of course. Now, I just want to mention a few rules to you. After all, every place needs rules, even one as peaceful as this. Firstly, you're not to bother Bill. His premises are out of bounds. Second, I'd rather you didn't go beyond the perimeter fence. And lastly, and I know you're mature enough to understand this, just be mindful of the residents. Show them respect, be courteous. And just be aware of the language that you use. Now, do you have any questions? Well, actually I do. The word is that this is a cult some type of bizarre religious sect. What is this place really? This is merely a refuge, a comfortable retreat. All of the people that you'll meet here have suffered a devastating emotional event in their lives, the loss of someone dear to them. They feel they can't get that support, so they seek out others in the same situation. We provide them with comfort and support. So anyone's free to leave at any time? Of course they can. It's just that they never want to. Just one more thing. Why me? There must be half a dozen more qualified filmmakers in town. What do you mean, dear? We've been planning this for a long time. You knew it was coming. You're just tired. I'll leave you to settle in.
idea. Here, come. Everybody, this is the young lady I've been telling you about. I want you to make her feel very welcome. Please feel free to talk openly and express yourself for the film. Just remember why she's here, for the sake of our temple and our way of life. Now everybody, let's give her a warm welcome and embrace her into our community. Everybody, please return to your seats. Now let us give thanks and all join together singing The Lord is My Shepherd. My dear? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with it. You do so know The Lord is My Shepherd. I think I'll just stand back and film if, if that's okay with you. All right, I suppose that's why you're here. Let us sing. The Lord's My Shepherd, I'll not want Hi. I'm so glad you've decided to come. It means so much to us. Well, filming the documentary should be a great experience for me too. Mother has been planning this for a long time. Planning what? We will all be with our loved ones again soon. Mother has missed you. Sorry, I've only just met her today. Who does she think I am? Your mother's daughter, Kate. She said that when you returned, it would be our son. I'm not Kate. My name's Jane. I must go now. I have to prepare for tomorrow. Hello. Hello. That's a nice teddy. Does he have a name? No. No? All teddies have a name. Are you Kate? Kate. Hi, oh, sweetie. I'm Jane. Kate. Where's your mum? Where's your dad? What are you saying to my daughter? Sorry, we were just talking. Emma, I told you not to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I just wanted to have a chat. There's nothing to chat about. I'm sure Mother would like you to say something for the film. I don't care what she wants. And besides, I wouldn't even know what to say. You can talk about anything that you like. I know people come here because they're sad. Is that why you're here? Are you sad? Have you lost someone close? We don't have to talk about it if you don't want. My, my little girl. Emma. Her sister, Emma's little sister. Do you want to tell me what happened? She, she was sick. She was so small. And her eyes were closed. Sarah, that will be enough, dear. I think it's time for bed. She's just young and afraid. I know her pain. The loss of a daughter is quite an emotional burden for the heart. You don't have to explain. I know how much of an effort you're putting in here and I'm sorry if I was out of line. I 
I've just never been in this situation before. Not many people have, dear. I'm not asking you to be a counsellor. I just want you to record as much of this as possible. Okay. Hey, it's me. Just calling to let you know I'm okay. This place is kind of weird though. I'm really looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Anyway, I better get some sleep. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Love you. I just thought she was being silly. This was not meant to happen, was it, Jenny? No, Mother. I've talked about this. If there is something you need to talk about, I am here for you. You know that. Your lives are my life. This just breaks my heart. Have I not proved to you that things will get better? That our lives are intertwined? We will not be judged by the people out there, but only by God. If we but open our hearts a fraction, he will return the love to us. We are but a breath away from a future of eternal paradise. Please listen to my words. You know what I say is true. There will be no more of this. Do you understand? She'll get there, won't she, Mother? She'll make it. It's okay. Everything will be okay. What are these people doing? What are you putting into their heads? This isn't normal. Normal people don't do this. What is normal? Is it suffering alone in silence? Is it fading away into the shadows when lives have been ruined? Can't you see the lives that you're ruining? Sarah, did someone call the ambulance? Sarah, they're gonna have to come and take the body and then we'll all be up for interviews. She couldn't wait. Not like the others. What do you mean? What was she waiting for? I say. Mother won't allow it. Please, Sarah, I want to help. Mother says I've been good. She says I'll get to see her again. Who? My baby. Sarah, has somebody hurt you? Sarah, come here. Please, you don't have to listen to him. Tell me what happened to you. She said it would happen. What? She said you would come, but it's not you. Everyone else believes it's you, but I know it's not you. Sarah! Who do, you, who do they think I am? I have to go. I'm sorry. It's warmer inside. Someone should call the cops, Bill. Bill! Would you shut up? They've already been. I didn't see them. I was hoping we could talk for the film. I don't want to. I don't think I could handle it out here. All this emptiness. Typical. Can I ask you a question? Just one. Why did you come here? My family died when I was young. What happened to them? They died. I'm sorry to hear that. You like your guns? They're a useful tool around here. Uh, I don't like them. There's nothing to be scared of. Unless you're on the wrong end of one. I tell you what. You fire off a couple of rounds and I'll give you an interview on camera. Okay, deal. Let's go. Think you can handle this? 
I've got no idea. See if you can hit the target. Hold it with both hands. Steady. Control your breathing slowly. When you're ready, don't pull the trigger. Squeeze. Try another one. Well? I... I'm not a very good shot. Looks like you did pretty good to me. <laughs> this is how it's done. Good on you, I guess. Hey, what about my, my interview? Later. Hi, Emma. Hi. Where's your mum? I don't know. Oh, she must be around here somewhere. Maybe she's in your room. Do you want to come have a look with me? Okay. Okay, honey, we'll find her. Now, I need you to listen to me very carefully. I need to ask you a question. Can you remember when I asked you about your dad? Can you tell me who he is? Is he the man with the long hair? Yes. Did your mummy tell you about your sister? Yes. Is that why she's sad? Mummy's not sad, my sister's still here. What do you mean? She's under the bed. Where? There. Oh. See, there she is. We play games together. Come on. We have to leave, Emma. I can't stay here anymore. Oh no. Where is it? I'm taking my phone. Okay, Emma, I need you to stay in this room. I'm gonna go and find your mum and then I'll come back and we'll get you out of here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, I need you to take my camera and meet me at the front gate, okay? aiming today. We hit the target.
Emma. gun was in your hands. What about her daughter? Did you kill her too? Nah, she's around here somewhere. I'm talking about the other one. The other one? You know about that one, huh? Well, that wasn't me. Bullshit! I don't give a damn what you think. Are you gonna kill me too? That depends. On what? On what Mother says. You're crazy. I was never here to film a documentary, was I? Just to witness your bloody mass murder. We like to think of it as a collective exit. Not one of these people's gonna die by someone else's. What about me? I'll answer that one, Bill. Why did you get me involved in this? Who do you think I am? Kate, darling, it's me. I'm your mother. You don't have to be afraid. It's time, Bill. Go and get it. My name's not Kate, you psycho bitch, and there's no way in hell I'm going to replace her. What are you doing to these people? It's not just about them. We all deserve to die. What? Are you insane? Emma better not be a part of this sick plan of yours. I said we're all going. I'm not going to let you hurt her. She's just a little girl. Kate, dear, our time here has run its course. We will finally be together again. Christ, you are insane. Now, what did I say about the use of that kind of language around here? Fuck you, you piece of shit. Don't worry about it, Bill. It won't affect our plans. Turn it on. Turn it on! <laughs> this is easy. Hey, darling, I'm just here now. Just get away from me. Don't speak to your mother like that! Kate, we're together now. And we shall fulfill our promise to those people and follow them on their journey. Leave me alone. I know it. But we'll soon be in a place where there's no pain. We will be at peace among friends. Don't do this. Beautiful, isn't it, dear? On this day as the sun sets, our souls will take flight. Love shall replace anger and heaven shall replace earth. I won't do it! in my path. Ah! Bill! Don't move! Don't move, I'll fix it! <sighs> Kate, why did you do this? I'm not her, you freak! I'm not Kate! Don't you understand? Don't say that, darling. Please don't do this. Don't let it end like this. These people don't deserve to die. It is the will of Harmony Temple. It's not their will. It's just some bullshit you've created in your sick little mind for God knows what reason. There's no great reunion in heaven. There's no loved ones waiting for them on the other side. Don't you get it? The time has come. The preaching is over.
Is it true what you said? That you'd rather be dead than be with me? Well? Well, you've broken my heart, dear. <sighs> Why don't you just kill yourself and leave me alone? You know I hate this world, my dear, and so do you. We must go and be in eternal paradise together. The more people who come with us, the better. I don't know why you've changed your mind. The last time I spoke, you were so keen. I'm not your daughter. My name's Jane. You will stop this nonsense immediately! You used to be such a good girl. <laughs> Remember when I used to push you on the swing? You were so happy. That smile on your face. Emma, listen to me. Remember where I told you to go? Go there now! Emma dear, don't go anywhere. I've got some medicine for you. Then I'll take you to see your mother. Run, Emma! Come back here! How far do you think she'll get? Where do you suppose she'll go? She's just a little girl. In a moment you'll be free and I will soon join you. <laughs> you can't do this, you've got the wrong person. This isn't about punishment. I forgive you for every wrong thing you've ever done. We're going to a place where we won't be judged. You will be judged. Don't you get it? I'll see you when I get there. Good girl. Today has been a wonderful day. So many people who have suffered for so long are now at peace with our Heavenly Father. Emma, I'm coming to bring you your medicine. Philip, wait! Thank you.